Hi, I'm Sarah. I graduated Blessed Sacrament in 2006. I know Mrs. O'Brien because I am best friends with her daughter Molly and we grew up two houses down from each other. Mrs. O'Brien asked me to read you guys a book. I'm going to be reading Annie and the Wild Animals by Jan Fraps. It had been snowing for days. Winter was lasting too long. Something was wrong with Annie's cat. Taffy had stopped playing. She ate more than usual. She slept all day long. Annie found her curled up in strange places. One morning, Annie could not find Taffy anywhere. She looked and looked, but Taffy was gone. Annie was very lonely. I need a new friend, thought Annie. She placed a corn cake at the edge of the woods. She imagined that a small furry animal would come and she would tame him for a pet. The next morning, the corn cake was gone. In its place stood a giant moose. He's too big to tame, thought Annie. I'll have to try again. That night, Annie left another corn cake at the edge of the wood. The next morning, the moose was back and a snarling wildcat was there too. He's too mean to tame, thought Annie. Annie placed more corn cakes at the edge of the wood. The next morning, a big growling bear was there with the moose and the wildcat. He's too grumpy for a pet, thought Annie. Annie made as many corn cakes as she could and left them at the edge of the wood. At dawn, Annie heard the snarls and growls of the wild animals. There was the moose and the wildcat and the bear. They had been joined by a stag, his family, and a large gray wolf. Not one of them is soft and friendly like Taffy, thought Annie. All the next day, Annie made corn cakes and left them at the edge of the wood. All night long, she heard the sounds of the wild animals eating the corn cakes. Annie awoke to find a great nose stuck through her window. It belonged to the moose who was still hungry. There were wild animals everywhere. They roared for their next meal. The little house shook. The animals wanted more corn cakes, but when Annie looked into the barrel of cornmeal, it was empty. She couldn't make any more corn cakes. Annie was very sad. She would never find a pet now. She missed Taffy very much. All that night, a warm breeze blew from the south. The snow melted and new buds could be seen on the plants and trees. The wood was coming alive again. By the next morning, the wild animals had gone back to the woods. They would find food there now that spring had finally come. Then, as unexpected as the warm spring breeze, Taffy walked proudly into the yard. Taffy, Annie exclaimed, you have come home. Where have you been? Taffy turned and looked back the way she had come. Out of the woods came three soft and friendly kittens. Annie would not be lonely anymore. The end.